In this video I'm going to show you how to beat Gear Raid 2 Stage 21. This is yet another example that in this game you can use a variety of heroes to beat a stage. Even maybe some heroes you never thought of. Once I identified what was my problem and what my team was lacking, I quickly figured out a hero who helped me beat the stage. I did add an extra damage dealer, Silas, but Aatrox is the hero that actually made it possible to beat the stage. His low cost as well as his short revival time is the key. I will show you the gear I'm using after the run. Power of Dominance is off. Let's go. First, I'm placing Zillitu to deal with the Smasher Guards. And remove us straight away. I will be placing Decimus and Aatrox on the left side to stop the Golden Guards. And as soon as I sell Decimus, I'll start placing down my damage dealers, while also dropping down Aatrox to stop the Golden Guards. Once the giant golems are dead, I can remove Vortex. This time I'll be getting golden golems from both sides, that's why I'm dropping Brookia and King Haas on the right side, while the left side will be the same. And again I'll be dropping my healer and damage dealers as soon as possible. And sell them when I don't need them. And this would be the last set of golden guards, and I'm going to deal with them the same way as before. So here I'll be dropping down Decimus and I'll let him die so he can buy me as much time as possible. After Decimus is gone the boss will start stomping the ground, but there needs to be another hero on the field otherwise he will stop straight away. And that's why I'm dropping Vortex down. This will buy me more time and make things easier.
King Haas will be tanking the boss and now we can also drop all my damage dealers. And that's stage 21 of Gear 2 completed. And now it's time to show you what gear my heroes are wearing, starting with Hex. I've got the Annihilating Might set on him, as well as Soulbound Arcana. And this is the artifact he's wearing, Spirit Siphon. Silas is wearing the Whirlwind set, as well as the Infernal Roar set. He also has the Spirit Siphon artifact. Zilito is wearing the Annihilating Might set, as well as the Infernal Roar set. And I've got the Wailing Skull artifact on her. Araka has the Calamity set on her, as well as the Cursed set. She is wearing the Frigid Flame artifact. What Volca is wearing is not that important, but she's got the Warlord set and a Broken set. She is wearing Skalahan artifact. King Haas is wearing the Immortal Warrior set, as well as the Glacier set. And I've got the Bastion Ring artifact on him. Brokia is wearing the Life Force set and a broken set and he also has the bastion ring artifact vortex is wearing the immortal warrior set and a broken set also i had one healing effect main stats on him but i swapped it for hp bonus one for this fight because i felt he needed the survivability he is wearing the north's glory artifact aatrox is wearing the salvation set and a broken set and he has if sin artifact on him i don't think it matters but my decimus is wearing life force set and a broken set and he has the flex pendant artifact on him i hope someone might have found this useful that's it from me and have a good day